Hi everyone, welcome to Narish Technologies. This is Srinivas. So, in this session, we are going to discuss so one FAQ in Core Java. So, that is how to create a thread in Java application. Okay. Here, the question how to create a thread? See, generally, so means what in a Java application, so we are defining objects only. Right. So, how we can represent object means with the help of class only. So, if you want to create a thread class, right? any class name you can give. Suppose, it is a user thread class name. As I am following the convention rules of a class. So, every word starts with a capital letter. So, if you want to create a user thread, right? you have two options. Either you need to extends from the thread class thread class is available in a lang package extending right uml notation extending means what is a direct arrow either you can extends from the thread class or you can implement runnable interface the so, runnable interface also is available is available in a lang package and here it is uml notation is a representation of a dotted arrow so either you can extends from the thread class or you can implement from the runnable interface. You have two options, two options. So, but whatever you do, either you are extending, I mean, thread class or you are implementing runnable interface, we need to override. So, one method is a method is a run method. So, public void run method. Sir, what is that run method holds? what run method holds means is a thread logic. So, what you want to execute concurrently in the application is a simultaneously in the application, the logic you must place inside the run method. Okay. The thread execution means what run run method logic execution only and here it is one important thing is runnable interface is already implemented by the thread class here. So, interface runnable is having only one specification. So, what is that specification? So, runnable interface is having only one specification is a run method, is a void run method, void run method. And this run method and this runnable interface is already implementing by the thread class, class thread, class thread is already implemented runnable interface and it is providing the body for run method, body for run method public void run method. Sir, what a thread class defined inside means what just empty, it is just empty along with that so many methods are available in a in a thread class. So, here is a runnable interface is having only one specification. We know that interface is nothing but a set of specifications, but here it is only one specification is there one abstract method is a run method. So, by default interface methods are public abstract. So, that is why I did not mention here, but here it is a class thread is already implementing that runnable interface. So, public wide run method is already defined in a thread class, but with empty definition. So, nothing is inside. Okay that we have to override once again, we have to update the logic once again. right? So, that is why here, here it is whenever you are extending from the thread class or whenever you are implementing from the runnable interface, what we have to do means you should override that run method with the user defined logic. So, what logic you have written? So, that will execute in the separate thread space. Okay? So, this is how to create a thread in Java application. Okay? So, hope you understood. For more videos, please subscribe to Narish IT channel. Thank you.